Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Wherever you find yourself in this entire world, I welcome you. So good morning everyone from very cold Florida today. It's in the, four, I think it was 49 when we last checked, when we woke up. And for Florida, that's very cold. Last night it was in the 80s, and that's Fahrenheit. So we've dropped 40 degrees overnight, and it's very, very brisk. But it almost feels good because I grew up in New York, and Christmas in New York was always cold. So this gives me a lot of good memories, and I'm glad for that. Wherever you find yourself in this world, I hope that you are able to spend Christmas with your family. There are many places right now that are quarantined around the world because of the virus. And I want to say to you, if you aren't able to spend time face to face, snuggle to snuggle next to each other on this Christmas day, I want you to know that I'm sending out my big hugs and my big love to all those people around the world who may not be able to celebrate with others and who may not have others in their lives at this stage of their life. And I know what a lonely Christmas can be. There have been many Christmases for me that were all by myself. And it wasn't fun. And I want you to know that I'm sending you so much love, so many big hugs. You've made this possible, this podcast. I wouldn't have done it if I didn't think it would make a difference in your life. And I've heard from so many people around the world that it has. And that really, really makes me happy. Getting a little choked up here. But that's nothing new for me. I'm just a sensitive soul. <laughs> I want to talk just briefly to those who have no one today or who won't be with anyone today, especially those who have lost someone close to them this year. Maybe it was during the virus and they couldn't even be with the person who they loved. I'd like you to take out a pad and pen today sometime and just write all the wonderful memories that you have with that person. So many times we spend years and years concentrating on the loss and concentrating on what we don't have. But what we really need to do is concentrate on what we do have. Because if we aren't grateful for all the things we did experience and did have with that person, we will just sink into a pit of despair. And I don't want that for you. I want you to feel strong and I want you to feel that you have a future, that you have an outlook on the coming year. Because in my mind, it can't be anything worse than what we've already experienced. And so 2021, I'm believing, will usher in a magnificent time for all of us something more hopeful than we had before. And it's interesting because when we started 2020, everybody was fine. Everybody was looking forward to an amazing new decade. But unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way we expected. So I'm believing for 2021 to be even better. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> and if you take out that piece of paper and start to write down all the great memories you had, all the great memories you had with your loved one or your fur baby who passed this year. I know we lost our Joshua in March, March 15th. It was only a couple days before we went into quarantine. And I miss him a lot. He was a great dog. And he took care of me when I was in some of my darkest days after my motorcycle accident. And that was back in 2009, long time ago, but still with the effects. 
So I wanted to say to you, keep your chin up, keep moving forward. Remember all the great times, even through the tears. Remember everything that you shared with that person or persons. And if you are able to be with your family and friends, just take a little time to sit back in a comfy chair and observe all the people around you and think to yourself how lucky you are that you have family and you have friends who care about you and want to be with you. So from our family to yours, I wish you Merry Christmas. I wish you a day of joy, and I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Blessings to you, my friend. Have a lovely day.